Okay, so I'm almost certain that this is going to go poorly because this is the Newfoundland map and I'm going to try to get a perfect score on it, which is going to be really hard because Newfoundland is quite a difficult province in GeoGuessr uh, and also because the movement is still screwed up and it moves very slowly. Um, but Newfoundland, I would say, is my favorite province to visit um, like because I visited every province earlier this summer and I really enjoyed Newfoundland. Very good scenery. The people were nice. Uh, it's just so unique, so much different than anywhere else I've been. But let's see how this goes. So we got Route, route 10 to Trepassy. Uh, that's this one, right? Yes. So I've actually driven here. So that's a good start. This might be on the St. Mary's side, though. Maybe? Oh, no. Maybe we're just in here. I don't know. Uh, so how am I going to pinpoint this? So that's the thing. Pinpointing is hard for Newfoundland because they don't have many cross streets. Um, it's a lot of just driveways and stuff, which I noticed when I was driving there is that it's kind of hard if you want to turn around because I don't really want to turn around in some random person's driveway. Um, okay. This, I think this is Trapassi cause I don't know how to pronounce it, but this, I stopped here cause it's the Amelia Earhart, uh, uh, monument thing um which i guess is there i don't know so we're right here so we're near the bridge oh actually this is the bridge okay good so that actually makes it easier to pinpoint there we go i don't know what this country streak is for but whatever so five thousand points good start okay good we're at an intersection um this is going well so far i'm confident that i can get this um Maybe not actually, there's no street sign. This doesn't look like, oh, look at that. This is why I like Newfoundland. Like, look at the scenery there. Oh, this looks pretty big actually. Um, I don't think it's Corner Brook though, and I don't think it's St. John's, so I don't know what this could be. Thought I saw a big building. Oh no, those are just like a, it's a water tower or something. Okay, so why did I go off here? Well, I guess to look at the scenery, but that shouldn't be my uh, my goal right now. I just have to get some clues as to which town it is. Tidy Towns. Oops, St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence, the town name? I guess. Okay, I'm hmm. not familiar with that one. I know I didn't go there, or I don't think I went there. But it could be all anywhere along here, though. That's the thing. Like, I went Highway 1 and I did up to... Um, okay, let's find it first and then I'll talk about where I actually went. Because um, I didn't go down here. That's my point. Oh, we are right here. Okay, I think we're on one of these. No street signs, though. I guess, like, the, the locals are familiar with where things are. They don't really need street signs. Um... See, the people are very friendly. Those guys are waving at the car. It's not like uh, that guy in Detroit that aimed a gun at the Street View car. Um, anyway, so Laurentian and I guess Mayor. Yes, so um, I should have said this earlier. So I went, um, I took Highway 1, of course, and then I did this one, 10 up to here and 90. And then I went to Dildo, just for the sake of going there. And then I went to Bonavista, and I went up to Twillingate. So I think I took this one out of Gander, and then this one down through Lewisport. I also went to Springdale, and then I went to Western Brook Pond, which I guess is this one here in Gross Morn. can't remember if I have my cursor on. I might have that off, but whatever. I went up there, and then I did... Uh, the road to Cape St. George and back. So uh, I didn't, I'm not familiar with this part up to St. Anthony. I'm not familiar with any of this stuff or this area here or Placentia or this area. So let's see how this goes. Looks like it's an urban round again. So, and this looks like it could be suburban of St. John's. And I, I would like to get some St. John's rounds. Um, yeah, okay, we have a bus. So I'm assuming, I don't know if Cornerbrook would have a bus, but I would assume that this is going to be St. John's. Uh, or that area, at least. Um, the... Ok, 
Okay, so looking east, we have some houses up on the hill there. If I had to guess, I'm not going to click and guess right now, but I think we're probably around he here somewhere, maybe. Um, yeah, so I really like St. John's. I spent quite a bit of time just driving around. Um, I walked around downtown as well, but I was just curious or interested to see just these neighborhoods because they're so much different than what I'm used to seeing in the West. Um, okay. Okay. It's actually in Mount Pearl. So my guess was way off. Uh, I don't think I really went through Mount Pearl other than on the highway here. Uh, cause Avalon Mall is, yeah, over there. So I went to Avalon Mall, but, uh, anyway, let's try to figure this out. Park Avenue, which I f can see here. Da -da -da. And Dunn's Road. So that's where we are now, but I don't even remember where we started. Okay. Um, that's the thing. Like, these houses are still a lot different than what we get in the West Coast, but they're not like the nice, bright, colorful ones that I um, associate with Newfoundland. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. I would. Um, it'd be nice if they kind of kept with that theme, even with the new houses. Um, I think we're going to be there. It's where the houses change from being these wide ones to the narrow ones. There we go. Uh-oh, this is what I was worried about. So, who knows how far we'll have to go here to get a clue. And who knows how difficult it will be to pinpoint this one. I might have to... I don't think I'll skip ahead, actually. I think I want to show the whole thing. Um, because some people, for some reason, may want to watch the whole process of finding it. And the ones who don't can easily skip it by pressing the right arrow key. Okay, looks like there are signs up ahead, so that's good. But yeah, pinpointing <laughs> this, it's a completely straight line. How am I going to do that? Kilometer 590. This is probably the Trans-Canada Highway then. Unless if it's the road up to St. Anthony. Sops Arm. 52 kilometers. Holy shit. Does that mean that that's going to be the first sign of civilization? Is going to be 52 kilometers away? I don't think this sign is... Oh no. There is stuff here. Pollard's Point and Sops something. What the hell happened there? Okay. Um, I have no idea where this would be. And I don't know, I don't remember where, um... Wait, but we are going north. Unless if it's here, but I don't remember where the, uh, highway... Like, if zero... I assume zero would be St. John's. Does it say mile zero? Oh, it does have 50. What the hell? Doesn't make sense. I think it's counting from where it becomes a freeway, though, which is near Clarenville or something up here. Where does it become a freeway? Okay, I, I do think... Okay, and it's just counting, like, sequentially or whatever you call it. It's not... Oh, it's not a freeway here. Anyway, um... That's not going to be helpful. I want to figure out where... Hmm. Two. What the fuck? I wanted to find out where the... Um, how the mileage works. Anyway. Pollard's Point. Maybe we are up here because I'm not familiar with these places. But I don't know if this highway is long enough. I don't know if there's a straight enough should have gone up here actually it looks like it might be nice because you're along the water the whole way i don't know maybe it is here then robert's arm what was the other place it was something arm wasn't it don't remember i think i could use these to cheat and move forward quicker which i don't really want to do just because i i just want to get it authentically but oh i can put a checkpoint down i want to do it authentically but at the same time um, it is very annoying doing the movement like this. I think it, it 
with the distance, though, it has to be one of the bigger highways. But yeah, it's just a perfectly straight line. Okay, well, I'll leave the checkpoint there. Let's go back to the start. Go the other way. I don't think I'll be able to get this anyway, even if I figure out what highway it is, though, just because I'm not going to be able to pinpoint it because of how straight the highway is. I just hope that these lakes Okay, so there is some truck traffic. Speed limit is 100. I can't remember if this one ever got up to 100. I don't think it did, but that was because it was mainly National Park and this part's kind of windy. Um, so I am thinking Highway 1 or Trans Canada Highway. I don't know if it's Highway 1. Um, Yeah, I really wish I could move forward quicker. Yeah, I was pretty happy with how this was going. It went smoothly, a lot of urban. But, yeah. Anyway, it looks like we have a junction here, so I'll just go up to the junction. I really don't want to give up at this point, though, because how likely is it that I'll get three the first three rounds being quite easy again? Like, I don't know. I should probably stick this one out. I think these are just speed limit signs. Or, or no, it's talking about the passing lane ending, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, but having a long passing lane again makes me think that it's probably Trans-Canada Highway. It doesn't look too rough. And I noticed with Newfoundland all the highways were rough. Except for the Trans-Canada Highway. At least the time of year I went there, which was like end of June. Okay, well... Um, I do remember seeing a lot of these construction zones along the highway, but I'm sure that's quite a generic thing to see on highways. Um... Did we go... I think we're going straight south. So if I go far enough, I can kind of narrow it down, maybe, based on how the highway goes. Oh, come on, please say something. Corner Brook. Okay. So we're somewhere near Corner Brook. Most likely on the Trans-Canada... We need a very long, I mean, Corner Brook's the biggest city in this area, so who knows, could be even here still, because this kind of might make sense, but not how this is angled here, actually. Okay, so we're going south, no, um, west, but a little bit north. Um, this straight section isn't angled correctly, though. If I go too far here, I can't use a checkpoint anymore because I'll have to go back to the other spot. I should have reset the checkpoint, actually, but I just wanted to not forget what those place names were. Okay, but we're going east, and then we got another curve to the right. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Because didn't I... I came south. The straight line was going north-south, and then I... I came south to this road. I'm starting to get confused now. Okay, well, they don't have the gas station there, so it's not going to be there. I would recognize that area, probably. That's the thing, I don't really recognize it, though, but, I mean... It's quite a generic Newfoundland scenery, not that it's bad it's just kind of repetitive so it's not not really going to stand out i suppose how about here though this is no but the angle still doesn't work out yeah we're going straight east 
And then we're getting too far from Corner Brook here, I think. Hmm, I wonder if it could be this one then. I don't think so. It looks like with this amount of lakes, I wonder how many trees they would have. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go back to the checkpoint, actually. What the hell? Is this really where I put the checkpoint? I thought there was a sign. What the hell? Where did it put me? I thought there was a sign there saying... Something useful. What the hell? Okay, well, might as well just go back to the... I think it put me back to the start. What the hell? That's stupid. Okay, well, now I have to go way back up because I forgot what those place names were. Because I think that must be my... Might be my best bet to even narrow it down. And I have to remember, too, that's... Just narrowing it down to a general area and a stretch of highway is hard enough. But then I have to pinpoint it, too. Okay. Since I spent this much time, I'm going to be kind of strategic about how I pinpoint it, but I'm going to be like clicking and counting, so it's going to take a while. Kilometer, I'm just going to write stuff down now so I don't have to keep going back, especially if the checkpoint thing doesn't work. So we are at kilometer 590. I don't know if that's going to actually come in handy, though. Kilometer 590. Okay. And we have... Sops Arm Restaurant or something? I don't know. Sops Arm is 52 kilometers. Um, I assume that the kilometer signs are only every 10 kilometers, though, so I'm not going to... I don't want to go 10 kilometers to find if it's 600 or uh, 580, and I don't know if that will even be helpful. Okay, and then River Sea Motel... River Sea Motel in Pollard's Point. Okay, let's hope that the, um, these things come in handy, but I don't know how far that place is. Don't remember if I went to this curve in the road here. I might need that for pinpointing, but this is a really long stretch of highway. Um... Oh, shit, I think I see stuff up ahead. Let's go there. Should have just continued going this way earlier. Yeah, I really wish that... I don't understand why the movement... Like, it, it's worse than it used to be, but I don't understand why you can't just click way down here and move way down there, because... I don't know, whatever. White Bay. Okay, let's look for that. Gateway to Scenic White Bay. Okay, that's only three minutes ahead. So, three minutes at 100 kilometers an hour. I wonder how uh, long it will take us. Because we have got to be going like 50 or something. I don't know. I don't really feel like going all that way, though. So, I think I'm going to look for... Oh, Route 420. Okay. South... Oh, I remember that. I think it was somewhere over here. I don't know, four would be over here. Oh yeah, because it said... Uh... Oh, Pollard's Arm. Fuck, I should have just looked for that. Okay, Pollard's Point really sticks out, but I was looking still at the stretch of highway, so... Ah, crap, why didn't I just look at that? God damn it. Okay, whatever. It's too late now to worry about that. Um... Where is White Bay? Okay, well, we know that it is... Oh, wait, actually, is it? Tour White Bay South, Route 420. So where is White Bay, then? Or is this whole thing just White Bay? But are we on this stretch of highway, then? We are going north. White Bay Convenience. Oh, okay. Well, we're in this big straight stretch here. We know that. So, I feel like there's no point in this. Might as well go back to the start and figure out 
how many like how far it is to the to this place and to that place to narrow it down and I'll have to use a ruler probably and I probably won't get it right anyway okay I thought this was more north south than it actually was so it's been 13 minutes holy shit okay what am I gonna do this is more accurate but it will take forever I think I'm gonna just click as far away as I can and count it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two I'm sure this is awful to watch thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So 61 until it starts to curve. That's to the north. Um, I don't know how accurate this is because I'm not sure how many, if it's moving the same distance each click. Uh, this way is more accurate, but it will take even longer, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go south this time and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30. I don't know if I should be counting out loud or not. 2, 60, got a passing lane, let's keep going. Okay, it's about 70 then here, so we're slightly closer to this, uh, the north curve than the south curve. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to be extremely extra here and go get, uh, grab a ruler, I think. Um, I feel like that's my best option. You gotta spend 16 minutes on this. I might as well do it right. Okay. Okay, well, might as well bring out a calculator too and figure this bullshit out. So... 61, 70, 131, so it's 61 divided by 131. We're going to be 46% of the way. But this is so extra, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's get my ruler out. Hopefully I don't knock the mic over. And I guess, I guess I'll use centimeters since they're more precise, maybe. I don't know. So you probably can't see it, but I have a ruler up against the straight section here. And it is about 13 centimeters. Um, so 61. What was it again? 61 and 70. So that actually works out perfectly then if it's 13 centimeters. Um, because it's 130 clicks total. So I want to do 60 clicks from the north end. Imagine if this doesn't work after all this effort I'm putting into this. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm actually in the proper spot almost it's more oh shit that's not supposed to happen it's like there okay please work uh, 
Holy shit, it didn't work. I also didn't, maybe I should have adjusted the click to put it on the highway, but it, that wasn't the problem though. Okay, well, so much effort was put into that to not get a perfect score. But if I put it, like I wouldn't have, uh, maybe I would have gotten one extra point if I had adjusted it to put it on the highway, but um, actually it may have been under 50, so maybe I should have done that. Instead of just leaving it there. Huh. Well, no, I did not enjoy this location. Anyway, let's get uh, continue this. Ah, this one's more pleasant. I think this is um, near um, uh, Gross Morn. Okay. Let's just look for McDougal's Brook then. the hell okay well maybe not but let's just look for more clues then this is gross morn for sure um let's uh, base it off of these things instead let's see if it's up here no it doesn't look as mountainous though um we have this big cove. I don't know, because this looks exactly like Gross Morn, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a lot of this area looks like that, come to think of it. Mm, still disappointed from that last round, just all that effort that I put into uh, pinpointing it only to screw it up and to get extremely close, but screw it up anyway, partially due to error. Actually, I think it would have, yeah, if I, I may have been under 50 meters, if I had put it on the highway, in which case I would have gotten a perfect score. So that's pretty bad. Um... Okay. Yeah, remember, it has to, this coast has to add up. I wonder if it's just not Gross Morn, but it looks so much like Gross Morn. And I think that is a park sign, isn't it? This is like a national park sign. This just looks so familiar to me, though. Especially because I think that was my last full day in Newfoundland as... Um, was gross morn. Um, so it's kind of like the last thing I remember. Actually, Cape St. George as well. Okay, this is not in the park because the speed limit's 100. So I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, no, Terra Nova though is on the east. And uh, yeah, it's not a park because it's not a. 90 speed limit maybe it is this 430 though just farther up so it's, i think mcdougall brook i've already looked at this so many times just because i'm so sure that it looks like this area but maybe not maybe it's no oh, it's the coast though it's not highway one unless if it's here that doesn't work None of these would have a 100 speed limit either. Maybe this one, but. I don't know. I don't think moving is going to be helpful because I think this is the most we're going to get. How could this look so much like Gross Morn, though? Well, this looks like it could be a lake, actually, so let's look at that. 
Maybe just slightly out of the park. The speed limit here would not be 100, though, because of the town. Um, huh, I don't know. I wonder if... Maybe I'm overthinking the speed limit, but, like... Nah, that's not... We do have a town here, actually. Okay, actually, let's go into the town and see if uh, what the town name is, because that might show up on the map. It's been 28 minutes already, so it's not ideal, but... Is that the town there? I thought it was a bit farther. No, it is farther. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed with how that fourth round turned out, especially it was going so well. I wasted so much time on that, uh, only to not get it right. And you can't make up the lost points by getting extra close on this one, so... Um, it's kind of discouraging for this round, but I still want to get a perfect score in this round. I don't know if I want to invest another half hour into doing this again. I don't know, I'll see. Maybe I will. Um... By the way, I don't think I'll be doing this for every province. I just felt like doing a Newfoundland one. Um, where the hell is the... Town. I thought I saw a town. Speed limit's still 100, so I don't think... Actually, there were a few towns where you didn't have to slow down because it was just like one, one small intersection to access the town. So actually, my strategy there of counting kind of did work almost it's just that it was not precise enough maybe but it was it got me relatively close because that was such a long stretch of highway that was a completely straight line which actually wasn't that common for newfoundland most highways had a curve so i actually don't think the pinpointing should be as hard uh most of the time little paradise park Um, okay, we can't go there. I wonder if this, that would show up anywhere, because I don't see how it could be anywhere except this highway. I don't know what the hell that noise is in the background. Okay. I know I should also be basing it off of the curve, or of the, like, the curvature of the coast, but I really think it's this highway somewhere, so. Maybe this park doesn't even show up, though, who knows. Hmm. I don't know if this area is even mountainous, though. Oh, yeah. That's way too far up there. This one might actually be even harder than the last ones for some reason, even though it looked like it'd be easy. I thought I recognized the location. Or like the highway at least, and I don't know if I even got the highway right. Could it just be like one of these ones maybe? I'm not familiar with what this area looks like, so. Or maybe down here. I don't know what the mountains look like down here, though. They don't seem to have enough lakes, though, so I don't think it's... Especially, like, elongated lakes. Um, so, yeah, I'm still thinking gross more an area up here. Okay, what's this? 
Root 406 or 407. What the hell? That's farther east, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. It's... So this is near... Okay, in my defense, I did this in, like, close to sunset both times, so I'm... So it looks different. Um... But then where's... That creek? So there's Millville. Oh, there's Little Paradise Park. So we were here then. Okay, so that McDougal Creek doesn't show up. Oh. Yeah, I don't really remember this. Well, again, it was getting dark when I went here, so... Um, so we're like here, right? Doodles Brook. It doesn't even show a bridge though. If I went the, if I went the other way, it's kind of funny, annoying, but funny at the same time. Okay, wait, let's pinpoint this. Oh, we're actually right at this road. Um, I, if... If I went down the other way, I probably would have, yeah, definitely, I would have gotten to the place where I slept, so I would have recognized it for sure, so I should have gone south. Yeah, okay, that's interesting, though. Uh, let's open that one up in Google. Um, yeah, because just a few clicks down here, I would have been here, and definitely would have recognized this place. Actually, come to think of it, I should have recognized the mountains, though, considering I slept here. Um, I mean, it was dark when I got there, but it, when I woke up, it was light. Um, yeah, but it was just kind of a empty lot here. It must be... I don't know if it used to be some type of gas station or something, or... Anyway, but there's a few other people sleeping here waiting for the ferry as well. Um, anyway... That's kind of a disappoint, well, not a disappointing ending, but a disappointing midpoint there to the game at the fourth round. Um, really enjoyed the maps. Well, I enjoyed the first three rounds, and I kind of enjoyed the fifth round. Um, but yeah, I really like Newfoundland, probably my favorite province to visit. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.